All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting on the review table in front of us. we got a really cool deal from the guys over there at Primary Arms. This is their new PLXC 1 to 8 by 24 compact first focal plane, low power variable optic. And I will tell you this right now. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Platinum Series. As uh, you've known, I've been using this guy right here on my competition rifle, and now this has moved over to a different rifle. But this is the old Platinum, and you can see the difference between the two. Well, that's compact. This is not compact. This is a larger tube. This is a 30 millimeter tube, which is going to mean that if you buy this, you're not going to have to deal with having to work with uh, uh, different size rings. Most of your common rings are 30 millimeter. Okay. So this guy right here, they've got three configurations of this bad boy. You've got the ACSS Griffin Mill M8. You've got the ACSS Raptor M8, which is in yards. This is what this is in. Now, I will tell you this. I did shoot the last competition with the one in uh, meters. And, buddy, let me tell you, it was spot on. Uh, a lot of cool things uh, to talk about this guy. And what we do... Uh, before we get into the details, let's go front to back. you got a beautiful diopter right here, knurled at the end. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely love about this is that it is very stiff. Uh, this is smooth and clean. You're not going to get any wiggle right there. Big diopter, as a matter of fact. The eye relief on this bad boy is about that much. You want to talk about high definition. This thing comes with what they call extreme uh, dispersion stream dispersion glass. Okay, so it's a new little deal they got going. Um, but what it is, it keeps down from chromatic abbreviation, uh, so you're not going to get any rainbow effect in there. But the diopter is amazing. And of course, you can see PLX. Uh, you've got the zoom ring. This is, of course, 1 to 8. Very smooth. Very smooth. Kind of stiff, but uh, not that bad. Now, here's the thing. I have installed on here, this is the throw lever. Uh, and it's pretty cool in that uh, this is extra. You're going to have to buy this one separately, but that's pretty neat. I'm going to leave that on there and see how much I like it. But it does come with this little guy right here. Now, you take this, what do you call these things, Allen wrench, and you can pull those off of there just like this, and they will slide on, boom, just like that. Now, look how that is. You've got that little dovetail in there. We can go ahead and put this guy on. I like the way that works. Uh, both of these work really well, and uh, I, I, just the reason I'm going to use the throw lever, the collapsible throw lever, is that I want to give it a really cool shot and try. But you can see how that goes on there. The knurling around the zoom ring is absolutely impeccable. This is a true one power scope. A lot of people say, oh, there's no way they can do true one power. Yeah, they can get true one power on this guy. Now, I do have the PLX uh, scope mount on that. We've already done a review on this guy right here. Uh, very nice. Now, before we all get started, this piece of glass is made in Japan. And I have heard through the grapevine that the glass that's in here, we're talking about the ED glass, is absolutely some of the best glass that you can get. And it's some of the best glass that has come out of that factory, which produces, well, let's just say some of the glass for some of the best optics out there. So, when just taking the words of uh, you know the Japanese that uh, this is one of the best. Now we got a 30 millimeter tube over here. Now let's go to the left hand side. You've got 10 levels of brightness. Cool part about this thing is that it has an automatic shut off. You get I think close to 500 600 hours of uh, illumination out of this thing, which is really important. I can't tell you this does not have an automatic shut off. Uh, it does have two levels of night vision. Uh, but on occasion, this guy, I've gone to the range and no power. And I'm using the kinetic development. This is their uh, little scope mount deal. Same thing here. We've got 10 levels of uh, optic, uh, what do you call it, illumination, and then two uh, levels of night vision involved in it. Uh, CR2032 battery, very simple, very easy. It does come with an extra one right here. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the turrets real quickly. One of the things that I absolutely love is they do put the directions up here. Uh, so <laughs> it comes with two of the caps. And what I'm very impressed with are the adjustment turrets underneath these caps. They are one-tenth mil, very tactile. You can hear it. Click, 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 click if you don't. I'm just doing a little imitation of it. But you've got some very aggressive 
uh, knurling around this deal. Now, the cool thing is you can leave them exposed, uh, but you do have arrow buttons, one click, one tenth mil per click. You've got uh, impacts down, impacts up, and then you've got impacts left, impacts right, and then on the little dials, you can see here, one R, two right, three right, four right, uh, pretty cool. It does come with a, another cap. So what you can do is uh, when I'm shooting, if I'm shooting left or right, I will normally see the splash and then I'll adjust my uh, next point of uh, the shot accordingly. So not big deal as if you can see the splash. But what you can do on this is we can take this top turret off. I probably will never do that. Uh, but I will demonstrate this thing to you. Uh, so all you do is you take off a little Allen wrench. And this thing is just packed with a lot of features. I was watching uh, Rex reviews, and uh, he was very impressed with it as well. I don't want to back these things out too much. There we go. So underneath, you've got this right here. Uh, you're going to take this uh, turret cap and you're going to put on there. And as you can see, we've got uh, one tenth mil adjustments. Uh, now, the certain things, the BDC that's set up with the ACSS reticle is set up in yards, but the adjustments are in mils. The cool thing about the reticle, and we'll talk about this in a few minutes, is you can actually use that. If you're a secondary shooter, you can use that reticle because you do have subtensions in mils and you can say, okay, uh, somebody, you see a splash, you miss, you need to adjust, go, you know, two, ten two tenths of a mil, three mils, total uh, mil mils reading on the reticle is 24 mils left and right, uh, no, actually 48 total. So uh, pretty cool. The total adjustments, and we'll go over this, oh, wait a minute, am I tightening it up? Yeah. So the total adjustments on this bag boy uh, is extreme and we'll go over that in a few seconds real quickly. They do give you while we're doing this They do give you a, an inspection form that tells you a pass fail on everything uh, This guy right here. I uh, go. This is the serial number on this is point or zero zero eight one So this is the 81st little deal to be able to come out of the plant there. There you go And you can see now you can leave this turret cap like this it matches this cap here, but you can make your adjustments from their point on in one tenth mils. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to talk about the reticle real quickly. And I tell you what, this is ingenious. One of the things that I love about this guy is that you can go from one power to, uh, let's say, eight power. At one power, the daylight bright uh, of the, uh, the horseshoe is awesome enough to where you can use it as an actual read, red dot. While we're in competition or anything else, while you're engaging targets at CQB range, you can utilize that. But the advantages is that you can go ahead and zoom this thing into eight power, and then it really shows its magic. We've got uh, ranging brackets on the left and right. Uh, if you notice that you've got from eight, eight, 750, 700, 650, 600, 500, 400, 300. Now, the cool thing is, this is set up in a couple different ways. You can go ahead and measure. If you've got someone who is 5 foot 10, then they're going to be the total length of the, of the ranging bracket on top to bottom. But also, we've got this thing from like the groin area to the top of head, because oftentimes you're not going to be able to see maybe something that's below the waist. So it's really cool. Now, here's the beauty of it. If you're using this in competition, you can come in here, you've got the Chevron, which we're gonna zero this guy with using 77 grain or mark 262. Well, we're gonna zero it at uh, 50 yards or 200. And then the top of the post is 300 and we have 400. But the nice thing is you have 450, 5, 550, 600, 650, 700. And trust me, this 77 grain has no problem reaching out and hitting those measures. But the beauty of this also is that you've got mills in both the subtensions on top and right post. Uh, pretty cool little deal here. So in the event that you're spotting for an, another individual, well, you can use that. Now, I'm not going to go too into depth with this thing, uh, other than, yes, you do have wind holes 
at five miles an hour for each one of those. Uh, then you've got a left and right holds at 200 yards. You're just going to go ahead and hold it on the right or left side of the, of the horseshoe. Uh, basically, the scope is part of the flagship line. Uh, all their platinum scopes are absolutely amazing. So the contact points on the turrets are made of steel. And we talked about the premium ED glass for edge-to-edge -edge clarity and vibrant color. So I'm going to put the definition of what ED glass is down below because if you really want to get involved in all that, you really need another video on this thing. The eye relief is three and a half inches. It's absolutely incredible. The field of view at 100 yards uh, is 121 feet at low power and 14.6 feet at high power. The weight of this bad boy is 16.95 ounces, and with the scope mount, it's 23 ounces exactly. I've gone ahead and done that. Now, here's another cool thing. Uh, you see this guy right here? You see this guy right here? Check this out. So this is a little sunshade. So you can actually put something else like that on there, which is really, really nice. Now, this guy is 100% engineered in Houston, Texas, as well as it does come with a lifetime warranty. Uh, MSRP on this guy, $14.99. The, the, the reticle in itself is what really sets this guy apart. It's just incredible. I cannot wait to put it on the new competition rifle, take it out there with the 77 grain, and see what it does. That's it, guys. Um, in a nutshell, it's a beautiful scope. Very nice. Well, it's if the weight is unreal. And I'll tell you, hold on one sec. Yeah, in comparison, this guy's 37 ounces. So uh, ounces turn into pounds, as you know. The battery power on this guy is over 600 hours. Uh, auto on, auto off, and it's shutting down after three minutes of no physical contact. Turns on instantly, and I've done that really cool in the video. So with that being said, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. If you liked the video, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. It's kind of going to be an optics week this week.